Thank you for joining us tonight. The city of Johnston this week launching a new website and app to help residents better connect with the city. Local 5's John Diaz gives a look at the app, plus some of the work researchers in Iowa are doing that could take city apps to the next level. As city government, I think we need to learn to adapt, so that's kind of where our app comes into play. So launching this week, the city of Johnston's new app and website. It's been a six to seven month process. Janet Wilwardine leading the effort for the city. We really wanted a website that was responsive, very mobile friendly. And a one stop shop for information. We do look at the back end analytics of our website to see what keywords people are searching for. The app will also let residents reach out to the city. If they have um, a specific concern, they can just add the information in there. They can upload um, a file to it, a picture if it's a pothole or something. The previous version of the app, Wilwording says, didn't get a lot of use. She's hoping this one will. City apps can be popular. The Des Moines app started off slowly several years ago. Now, we're in the thousands of registered users now and thousands and thousands of service requests turn in each year. But that can be tough. Regional planning professor Lenka Poplin has spent two decades studying how cities can use technology to engage residents. You need to understand what, who the users are, what the goal of an app is, how to make a user-friendly user interface. But she says they have a lot of potential for engagement in urban planning. How can this be, again, more continuing communication, but also how can uh, this type of applications be be more engaging and including some learning. For now, Wilberdine is focusing on ensuring Johnson residents have what they need to make life a little easier. You know, I'm very hopeful that people will download it and find it very useful. And John joins us live now from Johnston. John, that new app should be available for download very soon. Yeah, that's right, Samantha. The website did launch today, uh, earlier today, so residents can visit that now. As for the app, it launched, but sometimes it takes a couple of days to show up in the App Store or Google Play. Uh, so stay tuned for that to sort of pop up once it's sort of gone through the whole process. For now, we're live in Johnson. John Diaz, Local 5 News. We are Iowa. Interesting stuff. Thank you, John.